So WoW has a long history of scandals and drama with players, from players who got their accounts banned to players who actually got arrested. In this video, I will go over 5 WoW players that went too far. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Number 5, Zillion OP. Alright guys, so this first one is pretty bad. So I don't know if any of you guys have browsed Twitch back in the day of 2012, but this was a time when streaming on Twitch was pretty new, and there used to be a WoW streamer called Zillion OP, who pretty much ran away from his internet presence after a big scandal broke out of him faking a disability. Zillion OP seemed like any other WoW or Diablo player, except viewers in his stream noted that he was always in a wheelchair. Whenever Zillion OP streamed, he was always seen in his wheelchair, and was never seen standing up or walking. And a lot of people donated to his stream, with some viewers saying that they felt more inclined to donate to him because of his apparent disability. The assumption was that he was paralysed and he couldn't move his legs. And I kind of understand where people came from. If you enjoy a streamer's content and that streamer happens to have a disability that negatively affects their life, it's quite feasible that you would be more inclined to donate. However, that being said, everything came crashing down for Zillion when he made a giant mistake on stream where he forgot to turn off his cam and show them walking up out of his wheelchair in front of all of his viewers. Easily outgeared. Our dog, our dog, oh my god! We took our dog, um, like, to the fish shop today because the dog loves just, like, going out and meeting new people. We call him, oh, this is so cute, like, he's cuddling with me because he's scared. He stands up, he took a leak on my lap. As you can hear, his girl in the back was desperately trying to distract his viewers from what happened, and tried to pretend like it was nothing, even though she gasped when she realised his mistake. It also doesn't help Zillion's innocence when he, in a panic, pans his webcam down so that he can't be seen after the fact, like he was trying to hide himself. Allegedly, in his chat, he was trying to explain that he fell down, and didn't just walk up out of his wheelchair. In some unofficial chat logs, he was explaining that he just fell out of his chair, but there are a number of issues with this. You can see in the glass reflection behind the fish tank, after leaving his chair, it definitely doesn't look like he fell down. And also, assuming that he fell on the floor, how did he pan his webcam down? Since if he fell on the floor, he would be lying on the ground, and wouldn't he have to reach up to his webcam, which is on top of a monitor that is on a table? Assuming that he fell down and was on the floor, how could he reach that webcam? These alleged excuses don't seem to add up, and the court of public opinion decided that he was faking a disability to get sympathy. To this day, it's unknown what happened to Zillion OP, as he kind of just vanished off the internet after the scandal broke out. This was definitely one of the most weirdest moments that ever happened on Twitch. Number 4, Elvine. So in case you guys haven't heard the new scandal that broke about Elvine or Thomas Chung, this happened last year, where a fairly popular WoW YouTuber and streamer called Elvine, who was an employee of High res Studios, before the scandal broke out, which led to him getting arrested and fired. So what happened to the guy? Now to explain what exactly he did to get arrested, I can't precisely describe because YouTube will get mad at me. But let's just say he was caught sending rude messages to a low level gnome. You guys can probably figure out what I mean by that. In a sting operation set up by law enforcement in Georgia called Operation Interception, they went on various social medias posing as low level gnomes to catch people soliciting illegal acts with them. This led to 21 men getting arrested, including Elvine, the WoW YouTuber and streamer. This was quite a big deal because he wasn't just some random WoW player, he was a Twitch partner, a YouTube creator, and a game developer. So he had quite a big online identity. He even had interviews with devs at BlizzCon. So it's fair to say that he was somewhat of a figurehead for the WoW community. So to see him getting arrested for trying to do bad things to a level 14 gnome is quite shocking. Since his arrest, his social media channels like YouTube and Twitter haven't seen any updates since about a year ago, and it's hard to say when or if he will ever come back. His Twitch channel has been taken down, but his YouTube channel is still up, and ironically the last video he made was about the BFA dungeon Toldagore, which funnily enough is a prison. It's kind of an interesting coincidence. Another interesting coincidence with Elvine is that the two WoW characters that he plays are a female gnome and a female goblin, two of the smallest races in World of Warcraft, so take from that what you want. Number 3, Zuzo. 
So this is a pretty weird case of a top player who sold his account for real world money. Now back in the days of the Burning Crusade expansion, a rogue in the Method Guild had a lot of really nice stuff. And when I mean nice stuff, I mean both legendary Twin Blades of Azanoth, as well as the tier 6 rogue set. So this is as good as a geared character as you can get. The interesting thing with this account is that the original owner actually got contacted by a potential buyer for the account. The buyer offered approximately $10,000 equivalent in euros, which is a huge chunk of money, and it was enough to let the original owner of Zuzo sell his account to this buyer. However, that trade didn't exactly work out for the buyer. According to news reports that covered this news story back in the day, the new owner of the account only had a day to play on this rogue before Blizzard caught on to the fact and permabanned him. Now I'm pretty sure that the buyer didn't get a refund and the guy that sold the account kept that 10k. In general, it's kind of stupid to buy accounts for World of Warcraft, I mean Blizzard are just very good at detecting that and they are very strict when it comes to real money trade as well as account trading. But it's especially bad considering that Zuzo was quite a celebrity back in the day, I mean this was one of the top rogues in Method. Of course Blizzard are going to have their eyes on this account if it just mysteriously transfers to a new IP. It it also didn't help that news stations were reporting on this. So if someone is selling a World of Warcraft account and it gets the media's attention, it's kind of naive to think that Blizzard won't hear about it either. Number 2, UK Drillers. So this happened not that long ago, in fact this was somewhere near the launch of Classic WoW back in September. A Twitter user by the name of UK Drillers was bragging about how he DDoSed Classic WoW servers and forced a few servers to be unplayable. In case you guys don't know what DDoS is, it's on the same level as hacking, but it's more about spamming a server with useless information to intentionally lag or crash the server. Now this happens to quite a few websites where either a competing website or a hater would just send massive amounts of spam data to the site to make it so that people can no longer access it. This can also be done for game servers as well. In this case, UK Drillers was bragging about doing it to a bunch of NA Classic WoW servers including Ferolina, which is where Asmongold and Soda Poppin was playing on. Apparently this guy wasn't a fan of these streamers and just wanted to mess with them so that they couldn't stream. Now Twitter obviously suspended his account, but you can see his old messages in a web archive. I don't need to say this, but this was super illegal and can get you in big trouble with law enforcement as this is directly cutting into the enjoyment of Blizzard customers and is costing Blizzard quite a lot of money in order to combat the DDoS. Blizzard put out a bunch of updates saying that they're working on getting the servers back and they actually made a post saying that they found the guy who was doing this and that law enforcement had track the guy down. So he's probably in quite a lot of trouble right now since he was doing this to multiple servers and not just one. The guy behind this definitely went too far and is now in trouble with the law. There have been quite a few cases where DDoSers have gotten caught and have had to pay massive fines and prison sentences. I'm pretty sure that this guy is going to be in some big trouble. Number one on this list is Kalen Mateus. So this was another guy that got caught DDoSing WoW servers. This was a guy in Romania called Kalen that was using the same DDoS method as UK Drillers, except the idea behind this attack was to make a server unplayable. His reasoning behind these attacks was allegedly to impede on a rival guild's progress. By him lagging out and disrupting his servers during raid night, the PvE encounters would become a lot harder and they couldn't progress in their raid. In this way he could affect the guild that he had beef with and also everybody on the server. However, this was not a simple prank of annoying a rival guild. This did financial damage to Blizzard and hurted the customer experience of people playing the game. A few years later, he was actually caught and extradited from Romania to the United States and was ordered to pay Blizzard $29,987 to compensate for the costs Blizzard spent to deal with this attack. He was also ordered to do one year of prison time for the DDoS attack on the WoW server. These DDoS and hacks never seem to work out. You don't want to mess with Blizzard because they will track you down and even if you're outside of the United States, they will put a lot of effort into catching you so it's probably not a good idea to mess with them. So if anybody is thinking about messing with Blizzard servers, you should probably reconsider. You don't want to end up paying a massive fine and going to prison over it. Well guys, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below as it helps me out a lot. This is Vaulty, signing out.